What the hell was that? It was an idea. Maybe we could use it for the main tiles. I don't know. It just happened. I didn't want to stop her. I'll store them. I thought you wanted something to cut to. Don't you think it's a little contrived for what we're doing here? I'm an asshole. No, you're not the asshole. She is. I went for those cutaways. I thought they would be important for the film. I went through 15 years of yearbooks where she said she graduated high school. I showed him pictures of her now. No Tori. Well, Tori probably isn't her real name. I asked around. No shoeboat shoe store either. I even went to the phone company. You know, they still keep records. Nothing. It was all a lie. What's going on? This little lady of yours is lying through her teeth. But don't get me wrong. I think the stuff you're getting is incredible. Of anything we've done so far, this is the best. I just think this Tori is absolutely weird. You think she's weird? Yeah. She's slick. Real slick. You're being perfect, though. You're getting to the core of it, giving her just enough rope. Hmm. Wait a minute, you're acting like I'm trying to do some kind of hatchet job. I don't feel like you get the program. I don't have an agenda. We're presenting a, an honest, objective view of Tori. You're kidding yourself. I'm reporting. Hello? I don't mean this to be cruel or anything. But there's a certain amount of power that comes with having one of my clients fall so in love with me. But it's this desperate, clutching sort of, of love. It repulses me. I never want to be that needed. I hate being that needed. What? Let's just see you're not leveling with us, Tori. What are you talking about? Oh, what am I talking about? I'm talking about no shoeboat in Encino. That there never was one. I'm talking about you never graduating from Roosevelt High School like you said you did. We're finished. We couldn't find any trace of a family like yours. Look, Tori. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't have the time or the money to deal with this bullshit. I really don't. What's going on? Dara, you have to understand that I didn't think that this movie was going to be like this. What does that mean? Well, I mean, I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be this way. You came up to me and said we're making this movie. I didn't think it was going to be this big, heavy deal. You came up to me out of the blue. I thought you were a date. You know, I, I just haven't been fair. I mean, you, you've been so straightforward with me this whole time, and... And I haven't been... I haven't been fair to you. I'm sorry. You deserve the truth. I grew up, um... starring in all the shows, all the musicals, and everybody said, with your beauty and talent and brains, you just can't miss. So I moved out here to be a star. Sure. I took all the classes and did the showcases, little theater, the meat markets. And um, I did that for two years, and nothing happened. I waitressed. I did temp work, nothing. I could barely even make enough money to live. And I started having myself um, invited, I had myself invited to these parties uh, to do networking. And um, all these producers, these swine producers, all they wanted to do was get in my pants. So uh, one day a girlfriend of mine invited me to go to Hawaii for the weekend to make some money. 
and I was really broke. And so I did. We went with some some guys that weren't so bad. They were actually a lot of fun. And I made four hundred dollars and I didn't even sleep with him. Is that an escort? Is that a hooker? A companion? Good question, huh? So it just happened like that. After that, it just became a regular thing and it became something I was very good at. Very good. Very nice. Good. I think we got him. I will say this, though. That Tory certainly is a uh, piece of work. So, would you uh, sleep with her? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? If Tory came crawling up to you and begged you, would you do it? Yeah, what kind of question is that? Man? Your Honor, I rest my case. <laughs> I bet she's extraordinary. Oh, man, I bet she's more than extraordinary. Yeah. All right, I guess maybe if I had to force myself, I'd do it for research. <laughs> yeah, if you had to. Sure, it's manipulation. These staffs are coming to me for a service. And, well, it doesn't come cheap. And it comes on my terms. Pardon the fun. Believe me, I don't have a problem with the fun. Yeah, let's lose that. Lose Wait. it. Lose it. Why? It doesn't create the right impression. So much for the honest, objective view. Don't be sarcastic. This footage finally gets underneath her bullshit. We gotta keep her sympathetic. 